Hello! Happy Earth Day! So, today I'm going to show you guys how to make seed paper. Paper, recycled paper that if you plant it, it'll grow something. But first, I'm going to read you the Earth Day book and we'll sing an Earth song. So, here's our Earth Day book. Earth Day by Trudy Strain Truitt. Imagine a city where the air is so dirty it's hard to breathe. Imagine a lake so full of oil that no fish or wildlife can live there. <gasps> that would be so sad. Imagine if our lake couldn't have any fish because it was so dirty. Well, some places in the United States were like this 50 years ago. People didn't think much about the environment back then. The environment is the air land, and water. We need them to survive. Factories fill the air with smoke and pollutions. Cars let off gas fumes. Companies dumped dangerous materials, chemicals, into the rivers and waters. Oh. But a guy, Senator Gaylord Nelson, he thought we could do more to take care of the planet. He wanted to teach people how to protect our air, soil, water, plants. He said we needed to be uh, do some conservation. He wanted to get everyone interested in it, so he said let's have Earth Day. It's always April 22nd. And that started in 1970. Lots of people! said, yes, that sounds great. There is Earth Day parades and Earth Day parties and Earth Day festivals. All of it to help people know what to do. It made a big difference. Car makers did better at making the cars less uh, polluting. And cities began to recycle. They're picking up some recycling. That's turning something into something else. So like turning a milk jug into a bag. Here's some ways to celebrate. So children in Australia like to pick up trash along the beaches. People in the United States and Canada sometimes like to plant trees. So you can pick up trash, you can plant trees. In Russia, the students like to plant vegetables in gardens. Mm. Some families talk about other ways to take care of the environment on Earth Day. They might say, turn off the water instead of leaving it running while you brush your teeth. Or take shorter baths and showers. That's different ways to conserve water. Some family members might remind each other to recycle their old phones or printer cartridges, computers. There's safe ways, safer ways to recycle them. We don't put those things in the trash. We bring them to the recyclers. People talk about better ways to reuse things. Empty tissue boxes can store things. Old milk jugs can be used for watering plants. They use this old milk carton to plant a plant inside. Can you think of some things you can recycle or reuse? Every day should be Earth Day when it comes to protecting the environment. There's all the pictures. And we have way some of my students long time ago made a song called the Earth is our planet. Some of you might remember this. Okay, it goes like this. The Earth is our planet. The third one from the sun. It has land and water for everyone. It's surrounded by an atmosphere that's air for you and me. <sighs> it 
It has the right condition for living things to be. Oh, Mars is too cold. Mercury's too hot. Phew. Let's take care of the Earth. It's the only one we've got. <laughs> I love that song so much. Okay, you guys ready to see how to make the paper? So, I have a blender and I have pieces of shredded up paper. You can use um, paper towels, you can shred up paper towels, you can use newspapers. It's good to have a uh, plain white as your base if you want it to be colored paper. Uh, you can use different colors. Um, and this was some paper that was in packaging. I got a box and there was some paper in it and so I tore it up. Tearing is really therapeutic. It's a very fun activity. We should be tearing a lot. And then for some color, I just got some old tissue paper. I don't know if you ever get a gift and sometimes there's tissue paper in that gift. Well, you can rip it up instead of throwing it away because it can't be recycled. Um, so just tear it up and you can put it in there for some fun. And then I have some seeds and you know what? If you don't have some seeds, there's seeds inside some of the food you have, you eat. There's seeds inside apples and oranges, um, especially if, if they're, um, let's see what else, oh, like squash. Ooh, that has a lot of seeds. I have some squash seeds in here too. And chia seeds and, oh, if you have popcorn kernels, those are seeds. So any kind of seeds. Okay, and then I have an old magazine that I'm going to use to squish the paper. And I have a wooden spoon, water, and I think we're ready to start. The blender. Okay, I'm going to back up here. So the most important thing is to put the water in first. That's going to be very helpful. I don't, need, I don't really know the amount of water, but test it out a little bit at a time. I put a little bit of water. I'm going to turn on. It's going to be loud. I'm going to turn it on and put some of these papers inside. I'm going to put a little bit inside first, actually. Your parents will help you with this, because remember, just adults should be using this. Okay, I'm going to turn it on. Let's see. Oh, so it's very liquidy. I think I can add more paper. We want it to be a little bit mushy like dough. So I add some more paper. Okay, I'm going to add more paper. Let's see what happens if I add a lot. Because I want to I want to be able to show you what happens if it gets stuck. Ah. Do you see it's not moving very much? So your parents, they'll make sure it's turned off and then they can use the spoon to push it down. We only put anything in here when it's turned off. Okay, now let's see. Oh, good. I think it's getting, it's good. So if it's too to, if it's not mushy enough, you can add more water. If it looks too dry, this is kind of looking okay to me. I'm going to add some of the colored papers, the sparkly things. Let's see. And a teeny bit more water. And let's see how that goes. Yep, it's doing 
Good job. I think it's ready. Yep, it's ready. That looks good. So it's okay if it's really wet. Now I'm going to, I have to put the camera down so that, oops, I can use both hands. Now I'm going to take it out with my spoon too and put it on that old magazine. If you don't have a magazine, you can use newspaper. It's just to help uh, have something on the bottom and the top to squish down on it. Okay, let's see if you can see this now. Look at that. It's a big blob. It's okay if some of the pieces are big. It's kind of pretty like that. Okay, now I'm going to squish it. I fold that over and I push down. Look, there's water coming out. We want to push all the water, get all the water out. Where'd it go? <laughs> I have to find out where, what page it's on now. Where'd it go? I'm getting closer. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I'm trying to use my two hands here. Oh, there, I needed two hands to do that. Okay, so you can put the seeds in before you squish it or while you're squishing it. I'm going to put them in now. And I'm going to squish it some more. And this time I'm going to keep my place. I'm going to... Rem I'm holding it so that I know where. <laughs> squishy, squishy, squishy. Okay, now that you squished the water out of it, you can take it up, collect it. Look at that. Now, now it's kind of like Play-Doh. I can shape it. You can shape it to whatever you want and let it dry. Maybe you want to shape it into a heart. I don't know. Whatever you feel like a ball, or you can squish it, squish it, squish it flat and let it dry like that. You can even write a note on it once it's dry. Once it's dry, then it's ready. You can send it to someone, you can plant it yourself. I hope you guys have fun tearing up the paper and squishing it up and have a great Earth Day.